that and can't imagine why somebody would feel comfortable cheating people like they do. Mm -hmm. How much are you out of pocket from this company? I would guess like just through chatting and uh, letters, things like that, probably about 20 grand. Hey Brad, how's it going? Good. <laughs> so you've agreed to share a rather unpleasant story. A very, yeah, very unpleasant. To say the least. Um, so you're gonna, this is gonna be a review, uh, basically video of which company? Uh, Anastasia Date. Mm -hmm. And what, what's the big message you have for them? Uh, stay away, uh, <laughs> don't use them. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest, uh, fraud, fake um, internet dating site in the world. It's got to be. So Brad, um, do you want to share your experience with uh, this company, whatever you want to say, uh, cautionary points, educational points for your fellow man out there. So he, he might be in the thick of this. You remember what that was like for you. So mm -hmm. how, can, how, how did the journey unfold for you? How did it start and how can he discern that it's a scam? Because you remember when you're invested mm -hmm. chatting with these girls and you right. really believe it's real and you get invested. You're emotionally attached to these Ladies, right. Well, I, I came one time. I met uh, one lady through uh, the website and came to see her. And then uh, we had uh, like miscommunication. I decided to come back in Feb February of 2015, but I didn't see her. I came over here for like five and a half, six weeks, and uh, I met several women off that website. Okay, and uh, but let me tell you about uh, one story. I was over in Harkov. And um, I had met this girl. Um, she snuck her email address across the chat thing. You, usually it blocks it out, but sometimes you can uh, maybe write a reverse, the email in reverse, or do, do something, uh, symbols or whatever, and it'll, the computer program won't catch it, and it'll, their email address will come across, you know, where you can write it down. You know, and, and I got this girl to do that for me, and because Anastasia, they, they want to nickel and dime you for every little thing you do, like to send a, an electronic uh, flower bouquet, it costs like 20 bucks. I mean, geez, come on, man. I mean, every little thing that you do there, they want to charge you for it. But anyway, <clears throat> um, the email address came across, and I emailed her, and she emailed me back and started communicating with me. And I'm like, hey, she must be genuine. You know, she snuck her email address across to me. So I make arrangements to go see her and um, she needed a, a, an interpreter. So uh, we met and when I show up, it's, uh, they tell me it's $20, well, an hour. And uh, I had Googled uh, interpreter rates before I came, and the previous trip, I knew that it was only supposed to be 10 tops 15. So I know, you know, when they tell me it's $20 per hour that one of them's, you know, making a cut off of it more than likely, because why is this one skill so much better than the others over here, you know? But we go to dinner or lunch, I think it's an afternoon lunch, and it was at a reasonable place, but uh, afterwards, they're like, hey, you're, you're, the interpreter said your lady wants to go shopping. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here it comes. Get ready to bend over. And uh, I mean, I knew it was coming, but <laughs> when, <laughs> anyway. And we go to a jewelry shop, and she wants to know if I will uh, buy her this uh, $300 ring. Oh gosh. the. I mean, I, I can afford a $300 ring, no problem, but on the first, second date, are you kidding me? We don't do that in America. We would laugh. We would laugh at the woman if, if she wanted that, and I think she, uh, an American woman would be too embarrassed to ask that. And can I just uh, add yeah. this, Brett? And then um, uh, a Ukrainian man would never buy a ring on the first date or the 10th date. You know what? They don't even have engagement rings still in Ukraine. <laughs> they, buy, they get the ring on the wedding day. Right. Okay, Ukrainian man is totally frugal. Uh, uh -huh. 
you know, so they're just milking you because right. you're all of them. Right? And I, I knew it. I, I knew that I'm getting screwed this this whole time. But this this I'm not going to tell you what I really said. But uh, I mean, this I was calm, and I just uh, I, I pulled out you know three hundred dollars or whatever the equivalent was in grievance. And I remember. Uh, you know, I'm, all these thoughts are running through my head about what I've read on the internet and and how they milk the the American or Western guy, and uh, I think I pretty much threw it at her and said she could have it. That uh, you know, I'm leaving a lot out right here. That uh, you, you know, that that's nothing to me. And uh, I walked off. I stormed off. No, Brad. I think it's important the point that you're you're leaving out because we talked about the story off camera. What did the translator say oh, yeah. to you to guilt you into buying it? After that, uh, well, she come running after me and said, "Well, in the Ukraine, the, uh, the Ukrainian man takes care of the woman," and I'm like, "That's like uh, a month, half month salary for for most of them." Uh, mm -hmm. And it's the first date. Let's not forget. Yeah, first date. Yeah, yeah. So you were guilted using, you know, psychological yeah. emasculation kind of tactics, right? To buy her this ring, exactly. buy the translator. Exactly. Because that's their end game, right? Right. I mean, did you feel that this girl was into you at all? Uh, no, not. I mean, she was friendly and nice, but I mean, after one or one date, how do you know? I mean, you don't know. It was just, it was just like a splash of cold water in your face. Mm -hmm. And you know, after this happened, I'm sitting there. That I, yeah, I'm one of these internet stories now. Mm -hmm. You know. And can I ask you, Brad, what was her age and your age at the time? I think it was about 15, 14, 15 years age difference. difference. I'm okay. pretty sure. So, so it's 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 technically your zone of success. Yeah. It, it it could be a relationship, but it wasn't because that's the play here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. It's a ruse. Right. Mm -hmm. It's it's scam based, right? Yeah. Got to be careful. Mm -hmm. So, Brad, how did the journey begin for you? If you can start, like, how does it begin for the the man at home in America? How does this rabbit? How does he start going down this rabbit hole that gets deeper and deeper and deeper and becomes more and more expensive? How did it begin for you? And how did you eventually figure it out? <laughs> 